Hi first graders. We have been working a lot with subtracting and we're going to continue that today. We've been subtracting from teen numbers like 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, or 19. We've been practicing subtracting from those types of numbers. Today our I can statement is going to stay pretty similar to what it has been. It says I can use a strategy to subtract. We have been practicing two main strategies lately. We've been practicing the picture strategy or a drawing and we have been practicing the number bond strategy. Now, your teachers have been telling you for a while which one you have to practice, but today is the day where you get to choose which one works best for you. Okay, so you will decide, in my mind, does the, the drawing strategy work better or does the number bond strategy work better? And if you don't know yet, that's okay. We're going to review both strategies together. So, if you need to pause me to get your materials, you will need to grab your whiteboard, your dry erase marker with something to, er to erase with, and you will also need your math book turned to the page that says Lesson 20 Problem Set. And it has just a whole bunch of number sentences. Today is our turn to use the strategy that works for us. So we're going to want the Lesson 20 Problem Set page. Okay, and we're going to start on the first page, which has these matching down here at the bottom. But you can cross off number seven because we do not need to do that. Okay, we're going to be practicing these ones up above it. Let's go ahead and grab your materials, and we will go ahead and get started. On your whiteboard, I want you to write this number sentence. Thirteen take away nine equals. And for this number sentence, we will practice both strategies. Okay? Let's start first with our drawing. If we choose to do the drawing or the picture strategy to solve it. If we choose to do that, we will have to start by drawing our first number, our whole number, 13. We will do that using groups of five so that it's very neat and we can easily see when we make 10. In the number 13, I see one 10, so here's my 10, and I should have three more. 10, 11, 12, 13. Good. Now, since we are subtracting, we do not need to add any more to our picture. We're going to be taking away this amount. What is our amount we are taking away? It is nine, so I cannot cross off nine from only a group of three. I'm going to go to my group of 10, and I'm going to cross off 9. Now I want to make sure that I started with 13 circles, and I only crossed off 9, because if I did anything different, I will get the wrong answer. So always double check. Let's see, I crossed off 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I'm good to go here. Now I see what's left. I see 3 and 1 more. Three and one more give me four. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and try this same number sentence with the number bond strategy. And I'm going to leave my picture here so we can take a peek at it as we talk about our thinking when we do the number bond strategy. In the number bond strategy, remember we break up the teen number into just like the picture where we did ten and some more. We still break it up into 10 and 3 more, make 13. Okay, now in my mind I'm thinking, ah, I can just take my 9 away from 10. 10 take away 9, I've practiced it so much, I know makes 1. So, if I were to write my thinking, I do 10 take away 9 equals 1, and then that 1 plus, I need to put it back with, look, here's the 1, I need to put it back with what is left. In my number bond, there's three left. One plus three makes four, so I get the same answer as four. Okay? By now, you should be in your mind, okay, one of those definitely makes more sense than the other one. And if that's, that's the case, then that's great. Maybe you know what strategy you're going to use today. Let's go ahead and erase our board, and we will try one where you get to choose which strategy you, you want to use. You don't have to do both like I just did. Let's try with 15 take away 8. Okay, You can use the picture strategy or the number bond strategy to help you solve 15 take away 8. 
go ahead and work on it independently for a moment and then we will review. Now, I'm sure some of you use the number bomb strategy, and some of you probably use the picture too. I'm going to start this time with the number bomb strategy, so if you use that strategy, double check your answer with my work here. If you use the picture strategy, hang tight. You can check if you got the right answer. If I use the number bomb strategy, I'm going to break 15 up into 10 and 5 more. In my mind, I'm thinking I want to take 8 from 10. 10 take away 8 is what? 10 take away 8 equals 2. And then I still have 5 left here. 2 and 5 give me 7 all together. So your answer should be 7 for 15 take away 8. If you did this as a picture, you show 10 and 5 more in your picture. You take away 8 and you have five, six, seven left in your picture. All right, if you've got that correct, go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back. If you didn't, go ahead and pat, your pat, pat, pat yourself on the back and tell you you'll get the next one. Okay, when you erase those boards, we're gonna be all set with those for today. And you can go ahead and grab your math journal. <clears throat> now remember, we're on the page that says lesson 20 problem set. We have a few practice problems, and then you will be able to show your teacher what you know in your exit ticket. So, let's get started. This direction says to solve the problems below. Use drawings or number bonds. So just like we practice, you get to choose. Are you going to use a math drawing, or are you going to use the number bond strategy? Okay? All right. We have 11 take away 9 for number 1. 11 take away 9. Here's what I'll do. I'll show each strategy and each row. Since I have two problems here, I'll do one as the number bond and one as the picture. If you want to do them all as the picture, go for it. But I want to make sure that I am helping out my friends who are doing number bonds and drawings. Okay, so let's start with number 1. <clears throat> I'll start with the picture strategy for 11 take away 9. Go ahead and try it along with me, or maybe you've already started, which is great, because you should be able to do this on your own by now. If we have 11 take away 9, we're going to start our picture with 11, which is 10, and one more make 11. If you're starting this as a number bond, that's great. Do your number bond strategy. Just double check that we both get the same answer. If I take 11, minus 9. All right, in my picture, I need to take away my 9. I will have 2 left. Okay, our answer is 2. Go ahead and try 11, take away 8 on your own, and then we'll review the answer. Use whatever strategy you'd like, the number bond strategy or the drawing. Okay, if you use the picture strategy, just double check your answer with mine. If you use the number bond strategy, you should have 10 and 1. 10 take away 8 equals 2, and 2 plus the 1 that's left equals 3. So whether you used a number bond or a picture strategy, your answer should be 3. Great work. Now here's what I want you to do. I'm going to challenge you a little bit. 
I'm going to go through the answers from number 3, 4, 5, and 6. However, you have to be responsible here. I want you to pause me before you, um, before you finish the problem. So right now, you would pause me, for example, for number 3. You'd pause the video, work on number 3, get an answer, then push play, and I will review it. Okay? And then after that, we'll do the same things for number four, five, six, and then we'll finish up. So, first thing, number three. I want you to pause, pause it, do number three on your own using your strategy, then push play once you have an answer to check your answer. Go ahead, push pause, get to work. Now if you hear my voice, I hope that means you have already finished number three. If you have done number three, for 13 take away nine, you should have the answer four, whether you used a drawing or a number bond. 13 is 10 and three more, I take away nine. I have one, two, three, four left. Awesome. Give yourself a thumbs up if you got the answer four. If you did not, maybe you can find what your mistake was and fix it. Okay, number four. Pause the video. Do it on your own. Then push play so we can review the answer. Let's review. If I use the number bond strategy for 13 take away eight, I'd break up 13 into 10 and 3. I have my easy friendly 10 now. I can take away 8 and I know that equals 2. Now I have 2 plus 3 which is left and my answer is 5. 13 take away 8 equals 5. I hope you did that on your own before you found my answer. Okay, a couple more. Pause me. Work on number 5 on your own. Don't push play until you finished. You have 13, take away 7. Use the strategy that works best for you. All right. I hope you pushed play because you finished the problem. Let's double check using our picture, our picture strategy. We have 13, take away 7. I'm going to draw myself 10 and 3 more. That makes 13. If I take away 7, I have 3 and 3 left. Ooh, 3 and 3 make, 3 and 3 make 6. So my answer should be 6. High five if you got that one correct. Good job. All right, one more. Go ahead and pause me. Finish number 6, then push play so we can go over the answer. Great job. Are you ready to review? I'm going to show the number bond. You just check your answer using whatever strategy you used. 12 is made up of 10 and 2 more. If I have friendly 10 and I take away 7, I get 3 left. I take my 3, I see what's left in my number bond 2, which is the number 2, and I add it up. 3 plus 2 equals 5. So 12, take away 7, makes 5. Awesome, awesome job. Now, first graders, if you feel like you are ready to show your teacher that you can do this independently, you are ready for your exit ticket. If you would like some more practice, look at this next page. There are so many extra practice problems here if you would like, but you do not have to do them. Now, this is the page, Lesson 20 Exit Ticket. You have a choice. So I put these exact same problems on Seesaw. So you can either go back to Seesaw now, and if you like to finish the problems on Seesaw, you can finish them on Seesaw. If you like to do the problems right here on your book, you use a strategy to solve the problems right here in your book, and then on Seesaw, you will need to take a picture of it and 
put it onto the assignment so that your teacher can see it. Okay, we've done a lot of work with subtracting, so I hope you're ready to show us what you know. Good luck.